And away we go. Hey there, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to today's installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. My name is Tom Rigsby, the unashamed nonconformist. How you doing this Tuesday morning? Very well, I hope. It is uh, bright and sunny outside. Already been out for a few minutes. It's pretty, it's, it's a little muggy here where I am, but you know, other than that, it's all good. Hey, look, some special announcement today. We have a new winner in the first to say hi contest today. Vicki Morris, you are the winner. <laughs> you beat Joe. That's fantastic. That timer, that, that, that alarm thing is really working out. You can do what Vicki does. Set those notifications so that you know when I go live. You can do that in uh, Facebook, is an obviously a great place to do that, or on YouTube, or in Stitcher, TuneIn, iTunes, anywhere that you listen to the show. Go ahead and like it, share it, and set those notifications so that you can know uh, when we go first. Hey, and there's... Uh, another Vicky, my Vicky. Good morning, my dear. And Joe. Sorry, buddy. You lost out to Vicky Morris this morning. Oh, well. Look, I might, I'm, I'm considering a special contest to give people a little extra incentive to, uh, dethrone Joe. I know he doesn't mind. It's a, it's a challenge. I don't know. We'll talk about that as we get deeper into the week, but, uh, there, there might be something extra in it for you just continue to listen this week find out what that is all right so yesterday we were talking about uh comparison and competition and today the the title of today's show is what to focus on next because as we were kind of <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> as we were kind of working through that topic yesterday this whole notion of focus comes up anytime you start talking about comparison and competition so here's the thing. What do you focus on next? Stop worrying about what to focus on next. Focus on what's on your plate today. Right? Have you ever bought a car, thought about buying a car? And like, wow, that's a really cool car. I've never seen one of those before. What do you call that? I like that. I'm going to get one of those. Nobody else has one of those. And then literally, as you are driving the, the thing off the lot, three of them pass the street in front of you. You ever notice that? That, that as soon as you start paying attention to something, maybe you've never heard anybody talk about a particular, um, TV show. You start watching it and now all of a sudden everybody's talking about it. There's this new piece of software. You never heard a word about it. And you mention it to somebody. Hey, I found this new thing. It's fantastic. Yeah. I've been using that for a long time. What's wrong with you? Right. So there's this part of our brain called the reticular activating system. That's what it's responsible for. It, it It's kind of responsible for answering questions and, and pigeonholing the responses for us. So, yeah. So, so it could be that part of our brain. It could be what you focus on the 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 energy you give out into the universe it gives you back whatever the source the very practical answer is that where focus goes energy flows not original for me that's a tony robbins quote that's in the title today also where focus goes energy flows what you focus on you you're telling your brain pay attention to this you're telling that reticular activation system, activating system of your brain, hey, I am interested in this question, in this object, in this result. <coughs> Excuse me again. Help me find and locate information on that. And it will start paying attention. You get, <coughs> our, our brain gets so many inputs during the day that it has to filter out the noise, right? And maybe all those other cars that look just like your new car were just noise before you told your brain to start paying attention to it. But now that you told your brain to start paying attention to it, all of a sudden they show up everywhere. Right? So focus on the task at hand. 
I could do a couple of hours on the ridiculousness of um, not multiplexing. That's not the word I'm thinking of. Multitasking. There you go. It Our brains are just not wired that way. Doesn't work that way, right? Find the one thing. You're much better off. Find the one thing. Focus on that and then move off to something else. There is something. I'll give you a little tip here. There is a pattern called the Pomodoro Method. Right? Spend 25 minutes of focused time, energy, and attention on a task, on a problem, on a result that you're trying to create. Then take a five-minute break. Set a timer. There, you can go look up Pomodoro in the app store, whichever phone you use. Hundreds of apps, timer apps for you to help you do that. All right? So 25 minutes, five-minute break, 25 minutes, five-minute break. All right? No email is going to come in. No phone call is going to occur. No text message is going to interrupt. It's unlikely that anything that will interrupt you during that 25 minutes is a drop dead. Have to do it right now. If, if any of the kids are watching, they can probably vouch for this. We used to have this rule when we got home, you know, and dad went in the office or if the door was shut, if it's not bleeding and it's not burning, don't knock on the door. I'll be out in a minute. All right. I mean, that we've become so accustomed also by this thing right here. We've become so accustomed to responding immediately, this, this, this instant accessibility. We can't wait five minutes to return a phone call. I don't know. It just seems like uh, to me you're letting someone else run your day instead of you running your day, which we're going to get into tomorrow about how to have a winning day been working on. I might even get into that a little bit on the radio show this morning. All right. Where focus goes, energy flows. Be careful where you pay, where you uh, put your attention because you will create a result as we talked about last week. It can be a positive result. It can be a negative result, but there will be a result. And where you apply your attention, where you apply your focus, that's where the result's going to come from. As I mentioned, it's Tuesday. That means it's time for the radio show, top of the hour, 8 o'clock on WTKIRadio.com or talkradioforentrepreneurs.com. Either one of those gets you to a place where you can watch and listen. So a couple of more quick good mornings. Hey, Jeff. Hey, Catherine. And hello, Abby. I thank all of you for joining. Catherine says, when you turn your focus to something, then you'll begin to see that where see that wherever you look. So focus on the possibilities. That's a great point because we can also focus on the negatives. Right? If we focus on the obstacles and the reasons why not, guess what happens? More reasons why not show up. Right? Well, you know, I'm just being smart and I, I'm, in, you know, I'm covering all the bases and making sure that I've looked at all the possible. Nah, the more you focus on whatever, positive or negative, the more you're going to get. So if you focus on the reasons why not, you're going to get more reasons why not. Like there's a, I'll have to put it on my Instagram feed. There's a sign up over the door right there. There are a million reasons why not. Only one good reason why. That might be my Instagram post today. I'll have to go look and see what it is. There are a million reasons why not. Only one good reason why. The more energy, the more focus, the more time, energy, and attention you give to the negative, the more negative you're going to get. So, as Catherine says, focus on the possibilities, not the negativities. All right? Hey, good morning, Sarah. Sarah was a rock star on the radio yesterday in Scottsboro. She can put a link to that in the comments and share that with y'all. Talking about a little project we've been working on. Thanks for that shout out yesterday. All right, that's it. Radio show, top of the hour. I got a boogie so I can get down there. You guys tune in. Talk radio for entrepreneurs.com gets you the right place. If you can't make that, the replay is always available. You can still go and watch it even on the replay. And I expect you to be back here tomorrow because tomorrow's Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday's far enough in the week. I'll tell you the prize. If you get to dethrone Joe on on Friday, you get a prize. I'll tell you what that prize is tomorrow, so be sure and tune in. Until then, you have a terrific Tuesday. <laughs> terrific Tuesday. I'll talk to you tomorrow.